Hi, my name is Rhea, and in this video, I will be discussing slash reflecting on my results from the StrengthFinders 2.0 online test that goes with the StrengthFinders 2.0 book by Tom Rath. But before I begin with the things that I learned from this test, I'd like to first explain what I already knew. Um, I knew that I'm a person who tends to worry a lot about the future. I knew that I spend way too long thinking and making decisions, and I knew that when I can, I tend to shy away from conflict or conflicting things. Those are a few things that I knew about myself before, before taking this test. I think I've always had kind of a decent idea of the characteristics that make myself up, but I don't think I ever thought that the traits were particularly significant or that they kind of made a theme. I just found them to be natural to me. So this is what I know now. I know that I'm inspired by what the future holds and that when the time comes, I will make the most of it because I am a futurist. This means that I'm driven to take every opportunity that comes my way and to transform possibilities into tangible outcomes. And this is why the future always seems so important to me, despite people saying that I think about it too much. So as you may have guessed, my first strength is futurism. I also know now that I have a strong concern for what matters in my life, and therefore I make decisions very carefully. I tend to anticipate obstacles that will occur in the future and deliberately make choices that will help me overcome them, which also ties into futurism. I believe in thinking things through before speaking or taking action, so I'm not the kind of person to blurt something out. This is why I make decisions so carefully. Therefore, I can be described as deliberate which is my second strength. I know now also that I'm especially sensitive to how someone's optimism or pessimism can affect those around them. This is why people's attitudes and behaviors have such an effect on me personally. So for instance, if someone is being really negative, I start to feel negatively myself. I tend to observe people and things closely and I believe that there's a link between most everything. So, whatever it is, in all my classes, anything, I tend to find links between everything. So this is called connectedness, and this is my third strength. Another thing I know about myself after taking this test is that I have a huge appreciation for intellect and thought. And that is why intellectual people interest me so much, and why I spend so much time thinking and pondering about my own future, which ties into futurism and deliberatism. I appreciate those who are introspective, who have, who I can have intelligent, unemotional, and reasonable conversations with. Therefore, I can be described as intellectual, and my fourth strength is intellection. The last thing that I learned as a result of this test is that I seek calm and peaceful environments. I frequently tend to provide myself with an unbiased opinion of things as they truly are, and not make anything up. I feel most at peace when there is clarity and agreement, not conflict. This is why conflict is always unsettling for me, because I believe strongly in harmony. Therefore, my final strength is harmony. These are the qualities that characterize me, futurism, deliberation, connectedness, intellection, and harmony. But now I understand that these are much more than simply characteristics. These are my personal strengths, as I've learned from taking this test. These are the things that will always come naturally to me. And personally, I've always understood my own actions, but I never knew why I felt inclined to do or say certain things. Why some things make me so angry and other things are simply unimportant to me. But now I understand not only my actions and words and strengths, but also how they are all connected. For example, deliberation and futurism are connected when I plan deliberately for something that I want to avoid or want to happen in the future. Another connection is between harmony and connectedness, where I use connectedness to make everything fit together so it's all clear. I discovered many more connections when I looked through the results of this test, and I thought it was kind of amazing to see how they uniformly make up one person with one personality. I think this test also gives you really good ways to describe yourself and describe your strengths to other people. And 
It helps you understand that some of the things that you thought weren't strengths really are strengths that are specific to you. And I think that's one of the major reasons why I would recommend this test for anybody to take so that you have a better way to describe yourself and maybe you understand your actions a little better. So that was my video discussing my results to the Strength Finders 2.0 online test. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.